Tony, look, here we go. Ooh, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy. Look at these cowboys. There's another cowboy fan in here. Got it. Ooh, look at this guy. 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 Look And he comes on your way every Sunday from 3 to 5, 3 to 5. on 106.5. Lock it in, y'all. Next, we got Mr. Kyle Mack, recording artist, uh, one of the first artists signed to Dr. Otis Williams' 1030 International Records. He's also one of our producers here on the R&B Showcase. Kyle Mack is in the building. What up, man? How you doing? What's happening, Kyle? I'm good. And we got the man that knows the dates, the times, the locations. Music historian Mr. Kevin White is here. Thank you, Tim. Let's give these gentlemen a round of applause, our co-hosts of the show. Are we clapping for ourselves? Yes, yes we are. Yes, yes, okay. We're going to do that. Charlie. Okay. And let me, don't let me forget our producer, Daniel Kane. Give it up for Daniel Kane. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> While you got your hands together, folks, we got a special event happening here today. As the late, great Motown legend Richard Street once said, I want you to fasten your seatbelts and get ready because we're going to take you Uptown, downtown, all across town, straight up into Motown, the Motor City, 2648 West Grand Boulevard, the birthplace of Motown Records. We're having a conversation with the Temptations. The Temptations are here. We want you to welcome to the show Grammy Award winning recording artist, Mr. Terry Weeks. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, fellas. And also join us, actor, recording artist, and current lead singer of The Temptations, Mr. Tony Grant. Is yeah, yeah. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. An avid Eagles fan. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. He's, he's an Eagles fan. I mentioned he was an Eagles he's fan. He's a huge he's Eagles fan. That's beautiful huge. that y'all are dreaming right now. It's beautiful. <laughs> but, we, but I got to put my voice on like y'all the radio voice. You know? like, I can't stand them Eagles. Oh, um, okay. But it's all right. Go ahead. <laughs> we have decorated the studio yes, with yes. a bunch of mm-hmm. Eagles gear per right. Tony's request. Mm-hmm. Correct. A special yeah. request. Yeah, and for our special guest here today. And you got the choked out chicken over here to my left. <laughs> there, Represent the Eagles, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, all right. No, to, Tony, Tony. Tony's on it, you know. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, come on now. Tony, Tony is a diehard Cowboys fan yes, through and through. Yes. I don't know what would possess him to ever do that. <laughs> wow, you went there. Well, okay, oh. all right. Well, it was great, Tony. Thank you for stopping I'm by. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. All right. I'm glad we're Let's recording see. this. Terry wants no part of this. Hey, <laughs> let the games begin. Okay. <laughs> so let's begin. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's, um, first of all, I want to congratulate you guys on an excellent performance last night. I mean, thank I've got a chance you. to see thank you guys you. going back to the days of David Ruffin and Eddie yes. Kendricks. Yes. You're still fantastic show. I mean, it just gets better and better and better. So give it up for these guys. Absolutely. I mean, on that performance, my goodness. Thank you. you know? Thank you. I mean, thank and you. I got a chance to see uh, you do I'm Losing You. And oh, you threw down oh, on that song you, thank with you, Tony man. Grant. And then, of course, uh, Terry Weeks on Since I Lost My Baby. I mean, Triumphant return of that song. Yes, I'm still yes, looking yes, for yes, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for, yes. Now, you don't understand. Kyle and I have been begging. Yes. For, really? Yeah. Come back. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes. 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 You know? Yeah. yeah. It's a great song. Yes, it's a great happen. song. One of the all-time great classics. <laughs> <laughs> well, take us back to your beginnings. How did you become a member of The Temptations? You know, uh, none of it was planned. Mm-hmm. Um, per the prerequisite for being in the group, I didn't fit the mold. Mm. Okay. I'm, uh, I don't like to call myself short. <laughs> I don't think of it as short, but mm. when you're around these trees, you know, <laughs> you're the shrubs.
uh, uh, Hollywood and Cherokee, mm-hmm. 1989. Wow. Saw him in a shoe store, came out, <laughs> man, you got a minute, I sang something for him. He exchanged numbers with us. We're thinking, you know, I'm thinking this is this, this the brush off. I never met anyone. Right, so, right, right. You know, a star. And uh, so later that day, he called twice and left a message. He said, look, man, um, I like what I heard, you know, call me. Doesn't matter what time you get in, just call me. Mm-hmm. And that's when we had answer machine. Right. Right. So right. we're looking at the machine. We're like, well, what would we do? <laughs> I was like, well, we, we're going to call him back mm-hmm. for one thing. You know, called him back, man. He was such a down person. Mm-hmm. I was like, is this the same guy I just met mm-hmm. earlier? And come to find out his wife at the time was from my hometown. And that connection came about, man, and they haven't gotten rid of me since. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's been a bad ward on his butt, man. It's yeah. bad. Oh. 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 You can't get rid of it. Is, is there a secret to that? Because, uh, I mean, there's no secret at all that the Temptations have had a, a higher personnel change rate than um, a lot of other groups. So what is the secret for longevity? You know, uh, consistency. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, because I always say, man, lightning can strike anyway. Mm-hmm. But to be consistent is shows depth. Mm-hmm. You know, and that, that's what I judge it by, you know. And uh, every night is different for me. And it's mm-hmm. a challenge every night. Uh, mm-hmm. It never ends. Never the same. Absolutely never ends. Because mm-hmm. uh, look at what came before me. Mm-hmm. Come on. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Being honest. You know, mm-hmm. we're not going to do any better than that. Mm-hmm. You know, and I look at myself as a caretaker mm-hmm. right now. We're preserving this, <clears throat> this legacy and, and trying to push it forward even uh, year 2025 and however. However long mm-hmm. it is, we're just trying to push it forward. into. Um, and it's crazy that you would never think you would have a new Temptations fan. Mm-hmm. Right. They're, there, mm-hmm. right? Oh, yeah. they're the oh, yeah. children of <laughs> prior mm-hmm. uh, but but it's 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 just a wonderful experience mm-hmm. for myself and uh every day is different uh i look forward to it mm-hmm. um especially when i see mr williams step on that mm-hmm. stage no complaints from me yeah. Yeah, i'm all smiles let's mm-hmm. go forward and conquer man let's, yeah. let's yeah. get another one under our belt mm-hmm. And make it happen. Tony, what shoe store were you walking out of when you're doing the temptations? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I was actually on the corner and I was getting 250. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Just joking. I'm just kidding. Nah, I wasn't. I wasn't on any corner whatsoever. <laughs> I was. I was actually about to board a flight because before I was singing with the Temptations, I was singing lead for the group Chicago. <clears throat> and uh, so, as I was getting ready to board a flight, my wife said, "Somebody just texted me and said it's urgent that I get in touch with your husband." I was like, uh, "Who is it?" She's like, it's a number. I don't know who it is. I said, don't you answer that. <laughs> right. I don't know these people. Don't answer it. She's like, and before I got out, got ready to get out of the car, she said, baby, I don't know why, but I need. I feel like I need to answer this. I said, do what you want to, but I don't want no parts of that. So I got on the flight, and when I landed, <clears throat> I um, I got these 911 messages, and I'm like, what the, mm-hmm. the world? So I immediately called home, and she's like, you're not going to believe this. I said, believe what? She said, Otis Williams of The Temptations looking for you. I said, girl, now you know what? <laughs> Stop. You always got jokes. And then she's like, no, no, really. Otis, I talked to Otis. I said, you might have talked to somebody named Otis, but you ain't talked to no Otis Williams of the Temptations. She said, I did. I'm going to give you his number. Call him. I said, I'm not. come on now. I called him up and he started talking all smooth and everything. And I was like, come on, man. You, you trying to get me. <laughs> and then, and I as I, as we finished our conversation, he said something that really threw me. He uh, he has this thing where he says, "All right, young man, see you later, gone." Mm-hmm. And when he said it, I mm-hmm. said, "Don't nobody say that." Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> Dude, what I is that? Mm-hmm. And so and he said, "We want to fly you to Florida," and they were out on tour, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Maybe I might need to bring my security because this might be a setup." <laughs> but I went, and when I when I got there, first of all, I saw all these thousands of people at this place. And then when I got there and saw them, I was just like, do y'all know who y'all are? <laughs> I became a fan immediately. And I was just like, oh my God. And I'll tell you the craziest part is the woman that called my wife, Otis and I both spoke with her, mm-hmm. but we've never met her. We've never mm-hmm. seen her. We don't know what she looks right. like. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Wow. Never seen her. So it's solely God gift. Right. Absolutely. Straight up God ordained. Come on. So man. we just give thanks for it every night and look forward to it every night. Like Terry said, it's a different crowd. So it's a different experience for us each night. Mm. So, and we just want to go out there and be a blessing, man, and continue the legacy and yep. the gift mm-hmm. that God gave those five brothers back in the day. 
uh, when they were at Motown. Terry, you talk about the guys that come before, uh-huh. you know, that you you came into this already established group and you brought more hits to the group. Mm-hmm. Phoenix Rising is the largest selling album of in the time. history of the group. You come are. on. Thank you you know, that was such a beautiful experience to step into initially. Yeah, you know, oh, man, you I, hit the I, ground running with that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's absolutely. and it's an anomaly. And then oh, came back man. with a Grammy 2001 for Irresistible. Yes, yes, you yes, know? yes, yes. yes. Uh, total experience. Keeping it going, uh, taking the legacy and moving it further, you know? That, um, ah, man, didn't expect that, mm-hmm. but I will take it mm-hmm. every day. Yeah. Every day. Yes, sir. Uh, that was a pleasure, just just having the ability to, hey, look, I know you're part of this group, which I still, I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll always too. be a fan. Uh, when I speak of the group, I'm speaking of them, right. not me. Right, right, right. right. I can't include myself because right. I'm still putting work in. Mm-hmm. And, and that's just my attitude about it, man. But, but to be from, but, but to, Come into this group, green, still mm-hmm. green. I consider myself still green, but um, to reach those heights. And honestly, <clears throat> when we went on Soul Train, no, we're going to oh, that. Yeah, yeah. come on. And yeah. I had made it then. <laughs> <laughs> now, weren't you on there with, your, with right. Lovers Only? Yes, you were on there with right. them too, right? Yes. Yes. to say yes. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that, and you know, that was driven by Otis also. Mm-hmm. For those who don't yeah. know, For Lovers Only was the group that uh, Otis put around right. you Absolutely. Uh, after you auditioned yes, for yes, him. Yes, and yes, so that was the group wow. that you were in that preceded The Temptations. Oh, mm-hmm. man. And, you know, we sang a little bit on uh, some temp stuff. I won't okay. mention the, uh, uh, the album. Oh, or oh anything, I will. But, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> but oh, the, the public doesn't know. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> but, I mean, it's funny because all right, I, I won't mention the, the, the album or the songs if you don't <laughs> want me to. But uh, it's. I could hear you. Yes. I yes, could hear, like, yes. listening. Li- li- voice. Yeah, I could hear you amongst the harmony, by the way. Right. And it was right, like, that right. sounds like a Terry harmony on a song that preceded his actual entrance into the group. I know. So man. it always made sense. Well, it was crazy because, um, you know, I still, up until the moment I stepped in the group, I still felt like I didn't belong. Mm. And it was like, you know, just put the work in. Continue. Mm. Just put the work in. Don't look at the work. Just keep pushing so forward. Funny. Wow. How long That's does so it, is, is there like a, an amount of time that passes before joining the group to having that mentality that makes you like, I feel like a temptation now? I haven't reached that yet. I haven't either. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. I haven't got it all. Yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? No. Well, and it, because the groundwork was laid so well, you, you try to figure out how you fit in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Without diminishing yourself and saying, hey, I'm just a work for hire. Right. How do I cover how this? How do you? And infuse a little bit of me also right. without mm-hmm. taking away from that. Correct. It's it's interesting to hear you say that, Terry. I mean, I mean, <clears throat> almost. I mean, if your tenure in the group was personified, it would be able to drink by now. <laughs> uh, uh, and you have Grammys, uh, a Grammy and Grammy nominations, and all these accomplishments. So it's it's funny to to hear you say that. I understand for Tony, you've you've been in the group for what a little over two years now. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully that comes. You know what? You know what? Hopefully it will. You know what? Put in enough work. I'll tell you what trumps that and what blesses people to be able to say, hey, they're still the temptations. Yeah. It's, we, we were able to tap into the spirit that was already laid. Right. Yes, that was already there. Yes. Mm-hmm. And when we came in and that spirit was so big. So when you come in, you can't come in thinking singular. Right. It's, mm-hmm. it's not. Tony and the Temptations. Like right, it wasn't right. ever David Ruffin and the Temptations. No, right. exactly. It's the brand and the spirit, mm-hmm. the Temptations. Mm-hmm. So when with Terry's voice, it, he just fell right in. It just right. it just elevated it even more to different ears. You know what I'm saying? I love the way you put it. I was uh, watching this interview that you did. Excuse me. You mentioned how you were speaking to your son. He didn't yes. quite understand the legacy Correct. of the Temps. And Correct. you said how it's like you have heaven and you have everlasting life. Correct. Yeah. You surpass heaven. You surpass you know, heaven. straight to everlasting life. Correct. This is the epitome. That's right. Mm-hmm. Is it still, you know, surreal in that way? Most definitely. How does it feel for you now if you can ever, you know, it's the exact it's the exact it. if there was anything other than everlasting life, it'd be that. Whoa. It's this it's exactly mm-hmm. that. And then that's, that's because again, each night we pray before we go on stage. Yeah. But what I get and what I see when I'm performing to see people crying and remembering, mm-hmm. you know, what the music did for them when yeah. they were younger, whatever it brought them through. However, if someone, a loved one may have passed, it made them remember the good times, all that, mm-hmm. man, that's gratification for, yeah. I can go to heaven right now. I'm good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? saying? Absolutely. I'm good because it's the most, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen because I've, yeah. I've been at this for a long time. Yeah. I've done mm-hmm. a lot of theater where I've seen thousands mm-hmm. of people and they're laughing at foolishness. I mean, I'm just keeping 100. Right, right, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. They're laughing at foolishness or the demise of someone else mm-hmm. in a story. 
Mm-hmm. But with this, your, your, your laughter comes from remembering and there's something deep embedded inside of you, a love through the music, you know, and the dialogue, the lyrics within the music is so phenomenal. It's just like, well, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm just glad to be a part of it mm-hmm. and that God chose me to be a part just of it. Just a vessel. Mm-hmm. Who would argue with Ball of Confusion mm-hmm. speaks right. about what's happening today. Right. 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 Still relevant today yeah, too. Totally. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. totally relevant. So Terry, yes, I, know, I, I don't know if I've ever asked you this, mm-hmm. but a song that we listen to a lot is a song called A Toast to My Friend. Oh yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah. the Big Bully soundtrack. Yes, yes. How did that fall into things? Where does that come in the timeline? Um, you, oh, didn't, you didn't go by your name either. No, 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 not at, the not voice. at that time. I was, I was a solo artist at that time. Okay, was that was that did that follow for lovers only or proceed? Proceeded. It. Okay, yeah, proceeded. It. What had happened was uh, during the time I met Otis and and Melvin and all that. That's when Melvin got sick, mm-hmm. and right. that's when he uh, eventually his demise came. Right, right. And we were at the hospital, and uh, Otis had mentioned uh, 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 me recording with the Temps, and I was like, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. I think it was on Scotty Brothers. Yeah, um, because it was it was on um, a, a soundtrack. Yeah, a movie. and he mentioned it, and I said, "Wow!" I said, "You know, I'm down for it," but I was totally shocked, man. Right. I'm in there with the actual Temptations, and I'm like, "Wow!" Because Richard was in there also. Oh, mm-hmm. and I yeah yeah also he was on that recording, mm-hmm. and I was in there, man. I was like, That's "Wow!" Awesome. I should not be in this room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was just just in awe of of, of everything and, and the whole process and the reason why we was there was to the honor. You know, blue, right? Mm-hmm. And and I was down for that, and 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 that was a total honor for mm-hmm. me to that record right now stands number one for me. Mm-hmm. Nice. Really, forget the hits, forget all that. For me, honoring him that way, uh, that's a blessing for me. So when you're recording that song, mm-hmm. and you're essentially doing a lead duet with Ollie Woodson, yes, oh, yes, 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 and uh, <clears throat> how? Uh, but what, where's your mental state there? It, it, uh, I've always looked up to him and he's shown me different things mm-hmm. as far as singing mm-hmm. that helped me along mm-hmm. the way. And I just took it as, as look, um, although you don't think you should be here, you're here. Mm-hmm. Just, That's just awesome, do the man. best you can with it That's and awesome. see what the work speaks. Let it speak mm-hmm. for itself. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I don't do a whole lot. Of, I don't want to do a whole lot of talking, mm-hmm. you know, especially mm-hmm. I'm in a room with all this talent, this history. It's like, wow, unbelievable. Mm. So to record that mm-hmm. with him and then only a few years later to come behind him. Mm-hmm. Again, yeah. purely by chance, mm-hmm. right. just mm-hmm. being around, mm-hmm. you know, when Ollie got sick yeah. right. and uh, he came back and then he did, he left and went back and old came to me. He said, can you dance? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what do you want to dance to? I said, you know, I said, um, I told him, I said, mm-hmm. I'll show you. Mm-hmm. I said I won't talk about it. I said you tell me after we get done. Right. And balls to the wall. That's make crazy. it happen. I was already prepared. For you it. can certainly throw it down, though, brother. Oh, yes, Coming sir. from tops and blue, I was ah, totally there. We go. Yes, there you go. I'm totally totally prepared. prepared. I was about to mention oh, man. you and Kyle. Yes, have yes, a yes. Connection. Yes. connection. Yes. Man, tops and blue taught me everything I needed to know. Mm. They didn't know that, mm-hmm. but I was ready for it. Tops and blue. Thompson Blue uh, was the Air Force's elite expeditionary entertainment unit Mm -hmm. where we uh, went. I know my tour was different than yours. You you, you had two tours in the 80s. I had the stateside and then the uh, overseas tour that called me in. uh, Right. I toured on the 60th anniversary tour uh, in 2014. And what we did was we performed on military bases or theaters around military bases, Mm. um, stateside and abroad. Uh, and what was more important to us was the shows abroad. Absolutely. Especially when we were in our deployed yes. uh, wartime environment. It's kind of hard to explain that feeling, but uh, yeah. when you've left everything that's ever been familiar to you, you mm-hmm. will look at a post office like it's a church. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get one letter <laughs> would change your entire month. Man. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. That, uh, Hilarious. Woo. And it was Great. talking with you because I, I was in a, a <clears throat> situation where I had graduated high school and college wasn't really on my horizon. My dad gave me that talk. Right. You get a job or get out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I did both. Mm-hmm. I joined I joined the military, but it was because of you talking with you about Tops and Blue. Right. I was like, I, I, I chose the Air Force because yeah. of your influence. Absolutely. So I blame you. 
It's all my fault. <laughs> Blame so the funny. dark skin. Yeah. The dark skin dude. Yeah. In the room. That's right. That's crazy because I chose the I Air Force awesome. and didn't get in. <laughs> really? Oh, really? Oh yeah. I, oh, yeah. I was going to join. I did everything but swear in. Mm. Everything. Mm. They were about to send me degrees. Everything. I had a full ride scholarship in three different sports: baseball, football, and mm. track. You had a scholarship, uh, but you would have everywhere. Mm. But you wanted to join the military. I wanted to join. I, my dream was to fly a jet. Mm. Oh, that was oh, my dream as a kid. Yeah, gotcha, I thought singing was for girls because all the women in my family sung. But okay. well, the men too, but the men were like pimps. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, so, community outreach. <laughs> but I wanted to. I wanted to fly a jet because my mother used to take me to the uh, Sh- Charlotte Douglas Airport. And okay. I just sit on the roof of the car. Watch the planes take off. And I was like, wow. I want to do that. That's so cool. wow. when I got all these different scholarships, I was the only one in my whole family that had the opportunity to go to college. Wow. My mother lost her mind. Mm-hmm. I, I, all I did was tell the Air Force guy, don't, whatever you do, don't come to the house. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> don't call yeah. and don't come. I'll see you at school. He showed up. My grandmother was at the house, told my mom. My mother was like, Who, what, what, what's going on? What, 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 what? I was like, mom, I don't want to go to college. She lost her mind. She mm-hmm. was my best friend, so mm-hmm. she stopped speaking to me for two weeks. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I botched up college. I went through it, but that is where I got my voice. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Because this young lady that I started dating, mm-hmm. her, I would always go in the piano room. We had a piano area, and I'd go in at four o'clock in the morning, and I'd just hit the piano, and then hit the notes with my voice, to mm-hmm. the point where I could get way, way, way up. Mm-hmm. And then I started mixing it up, to it, putting rhythm together vocally, and then I was like, okay, okay. But my mother would always say I could sing because she'd hear me in the shower just belting mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I finally, I got invited by this young lady. She dropped my name in a talent show. So I'm a ball player, so I'm tough. You know, I'm like, hey, yeah, I ain't yeah. singing. So it's a bunch of us. We end up going to this talent show because we thinking, you know, we're going to see some girls <laughs> up here singing. And the girl put my name in it. So when wow. she, they called my name, of course, you know, all the brothers is like, yo, <laughs> what you going to do? What's you got to get up there, man. And I'm like, I ain't going up there. Oh, you a little girl, man. You, you know, so I had to go up and the, the prize was $1,000. Mm. I won. Nice. nice. All right. So when I saw that money, yeah, when I cashed that check and saw all them bills, mm-hmm. I said, wait a minute. There you go. Got something. I can make some money without getting beat up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hold up. Then Come they on. put, I joined another time. You get off that street corner. corner. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I can charge a little more. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, but, but I got that. <laughs> I got, I went to another talent show, won that. And then they did when the karaoke started. They had a talent show to where whoever wins gets five thousand dollars and gets to go to California to be on Star Search. Mm. I won that five thousand, but I, punk, I punked out of going to California. Oh, oh. To oh. oh. I was like, damn, pull up YouTube, all find Star Search. <laughs> all the talent, all the talent that was on Star Search, I didn't yeah. think I was good. I didn't think personally right. I was good enough to do it. So then, unfortunately, I lost my scholarship for foolishness, mm. and then. Uh, while I was at home, I started singing with these five guys. This guy saw me on TV singing with these guys and said, I wrote a play called A Good Man is Hard to Find. Mm-hmm. I want you to come and audition for it. Well, I went, he said, I'm only auditioning, auditioning 10 people. I'm, I'm telling y'all, my life has been blessed. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm only auditioning 10 people. When I got to the audition, it was 11 people and everybody was standing outside. I had a cold. I was number 11 in the rain. Everybody got umbrellas but me. Mm-hmm. The guy that was number seven in line, he said, I don't know why I'm doing this. Take my spot, go in there and win. I mm. went in, won a thousand dollars, and won the lead role in a good man's hard to find. Mm. Five months after that, this is crazy, y'all. Five months after that, I got my record deal with A and M Records. Wow. wow. Where were we? What's the name of the place we went to? In, um, no, uh, in Detroit, and Miller London was there. Miller London Miller is the one London. that signed yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Miller London mm. signed me to A and M Records. Mm-hmm. He's my first, the first person wow. I got a record deal with. Wow. Was with A and M Records. Wow. So we world. turn around and go to Detroit. Who do I see? Miller London. Wow. It was such a blessing. Then, crazy part, after that play, I auditioned for the Temptations series. Oh, oh really? The series. Really? The miniseries. Wow. Watch this. Oh, wow. Terry didn't Watch know that. This. No, I didn't. Watch this. I got the part. For who? I got the part for Eddie Kendricks. Wow. wow. Got it. Wow. Jackie Brown was the casting agent. She quit because of this. This took place. I got the part. She called me jumping through hoops. 
Told me I had it. Then she had to call me back. The producers wanted names. Mm. And that's what did it. That's mm. what killed it for me. Now mm-hmm. here we are full circle. Mm-hmm. Right. Wow. Full Comes circle. Back around. Yeah. Come back around. Mm-hmm. And I'm a temptation. And that's something. Wow. Congratulations yeah. on that. Uh, that's yeah. a heck of a story, story there, brother. I'm telling you, yeah. it's got layers, bro. too. Yes. It's a blessing. Yeah. Things are meant to be, you know? Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. Yeah. In the interim, between that, you joined uh, As Yet. I was a leader mm-hmm. As Yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you explain that experience? Yes. Weird. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> well, you no, were with no. them twice, right? Uh, no, I was with them once. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was only with them once. I was with AY 2.0 after that. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay well, okay. well, following that, right after Ajet, then I started the group um, um, Blaze, okay. which was all lead singers of Blackstreet, Ajet, and mm-hmm. Silk. Okay. okay. I put them all in one group. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that experience with Ajet was, was difficult only because there was already turmoil when I walked into it mm-hmm. between the group, the group management and the label. Mm-hmm. Right. And then all of that mess that was going on. So, but the thing is, I never signed the deal. Wow. So I kind of was like a freelance. Right. So I, okay. ended up, I ended up making all the money. <laughs> yeah. I ended up making all the money. And, you know, of course, when I had the opportunity to help out my brothers. Mm-hmm. But when I got when the LaFace Records was going belly up, mm-hmm. I got it before everybody. Mm-hmm. So when I made mention of it to the group, unfortunately, you know, they didn't hear it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so when the label went belly up, I was already, you know, I was already. Were you there for you were the inspiration? That's that oh, song. Yeah. All know. of that. Yes. Yeah. Peter Cotero. Yeah. yeah. Another six degrees of separation. Mm-hmm. You go from you're the inspiration. Correct. To Chicago. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yes. Isn't that crazy? That's incredible. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. And and this crazy part is Danny Serafin, the original drummer, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. saw that video. He saw the video of you're the inspiration with me singing on. Wow. And was like, and when they when they reached out to me, he said, "Who's singing the top?" I said, that's me. He was like, and this is crazy. Larry Braggs wow. oh, was wow. part of that. Wow. Really? I didn't wow. know that. Yes. Okay. Larry Braggs was part it's of so that. so connected. Everything's CTA. so connected. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's unbelievable. CTA. California, I mm-hmm. mean, uh, yeah. California Transit Authority, CTA. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because at that time, Tower of Power was reaching out to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then Larry said, go with Danny. Okay. Because I was doing theater at the same time, too. And Tower mm-hmm. Power was doing 250 shows. Mm-hmm. Right. He's like, you'll never do your theater if you do it. Is there any plans for you guys to record soon? Uh, we're in the he works of... Uh, we're, yeah. we're, 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 Working it? I, will, yeah. I don't want to ask I a won't. question I'm not supposed to ask. But I, I know. Mean, I know. Yeah. Oh, but we're putting it out there now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're working but, on it. But, but, yes. On. Because, I mean, you guys you, you guys are still performing uh, Yes or No right. from right. Uh, right. from uh, Temptation 60, 60. Mm-hmm. which is uh, which is a great song. Uh also a very different lineup who, record, yes. who recorded that album. Mm-hmm. Right. There again, yeah. you know, you would think all these changes would be a detriment to mm-hmm. you, but the mention of that name mm-hmm. is much stronger. It's strong. Yeah. Much stronger. It's so funny. It's funny you say that. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm always, I'm always thinking 10 years. And I give myself that. I think 10 years down the road. Mm-hmm. So my mindset, I was thinking and I'm, and, and I said, man, okay. If, if Mr. Otis decides to retire, how do we keep going? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you keep going and they not call you a cover band? Right. Yeah. Right, right. Because he's the last original member. And I was talking to Ron about it. And then Ron said something that was so powerful for me that I just said, okay, I back up. Ron said, well, the name is going to outlive us all. The music is going to outlive mm-hmm. us all. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. They come to hear the music. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right the music will sustain the group even after we're mm-hmm. all long gone. I was yes. like, yo. Mm-hmm. I said, you yeah. right, brother. Yeah, if if you thing. respect this music mm-hmm. and present it as authentically as you possibly can, your audience responds yeah. to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, absolutely. But it, I mean, unlike, I guess, you know, some other groups, the, the Temptations, it, it, whenever that moment happens, the Temptations will have the, the luxury of having two members who have been in for so long that yeah. it legitimizes everything. Mm-hmm. Ron has been in for over 40, 40 years, years at this yeah. point, you know, and around. you're nearing 30. You guys are throwing stuff at me. I never mm-hmm. even thought. And as a unit, you've yeah. been together a long time. That's true. That's true. You, That's know, true. you guys. Yeah. 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 But yeah, my focus is mm-hmm. the next show. Mm-hmm. The next show, getting mm-hmm. better, getting in mm-hmm. rehearsal, yeah. fine tuning and stuff, mm-hmm. making it, because, uh, that's his legacy. Mm-hmm. It's my legacy, right. individually and collectively. Mm-hmm. All right, let's uh, wrap it up, folks, and let's uh, <laughs> thank uh, the Temptations for coming down here. Grammy award winning recording artist, Mr. Terry Weeks. Yeah, hey, thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Actor, singer, and recording artist, 
Mr. Tony Grant, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank the you. Temptations are in the building. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming down and joining us here on the R&B Showcase. We definitely appreciate you sharing such history and yes, sir. your inception Always. to the group. Thank you so Always. much for being here. Thank, thank our co-host, Julian Seward. Always a pleasure, too. Kyle Mack. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Kevin White. Always a pleasure. Our man. producer, Mr. Daniel Kane. <laughs> and thank you for joining us for R&B Showcase Live. <laughs>